experience is going to fuse a world-class concert featuring a headliner like uh, John Mayer, Jack Johnson, Cheryl Crow, along with an interactive festival. One of the things that we want to do is to put on an event at Veterans Park where we can teach people how to recycle. You know, it's all encompassing and this will be the first place it's going to happen in Wisconsin, in the Midwest, and I couldn't be more proud. Because this is really our heritage when we talk about the uh, emerald necklace of parks that we have here. Uh, to be able to showcase that is going to be just uh, marvelous for Milwaukee. The nice thing about Rock the Green with the education and enlightenment component as well as just the fun of the entertainment is to be connected and understand groups that we partner with here in the park system like the Urban Ecology Center. We will be working closely with Rock the Green to make sure this festival is pushing the envelope the way the Urban Ecology Center is and the way ultimately society as a whole will need to be. You can take the next step and make sure it has an impact on your business, on your life, on your home, on your family. And that, I think, is one of the great assets of Rock the Green. Milwaukee has a long history of sustainability with our businesses. We have great businesses here like We Energies, Johnson Controls, A.O. Smith with their water heaters, and Badger Meter, companies that for years have been involved in the sustainability effort. This is just a great opportunity to showcase all of those efforts and to show that Milwaukee is on the leading edge of sustainability. You now we're excited to bring on corporate sponsors and partnerships, and one of and our first partner is Rich Musin and Badger Meter. They've really come on board and embraced Rock the Green and we're thrilled to have them. I'd like to see all of the major companies in Milwaukee get involved in the Rock the Green event. I think it's just a great opportunity for us to showcase the city and showcase what we're all about here in Milwaukee when it comes to sustainability. The outdoors and music and so it's easy to fuse those together. We've got the outdoors, we're going to have an awesome concert on site and we're going to be able to educate and enlighten people about eco-friendly living and the environment and how we really got to pitch in and, and, and learn and, and incorporate that into our own lifestyle. And I, this event will help do that with, for our community. I think this is going to be a celebration and it's not a finish line, it's, it's almost a new motivation for the future. I mean, we're going to have folks biking into the event from all over the state. I mean, those types of things that are really, really um, exciting and the alternative energy that's going to be used for the event will be a role model in and of itself, which is really the best way to teach. So I, so I, I think the, the, the education and the entertainment, all that mixed together will be perfect. With what the Rock the Green stands for, with educating, enlightening, and entertaining, that's exactly what a park system does, so it's a, it's a wonderful partnership. Rock the Green is a great opportunity to bring people together from all ages, from all backgrounds, all throughout Milwaukee County. It'll be great for the state of Wisconsin, great for Milwaukee, and great for the Urban Ecology Center. We couldn't be more excited to have it coming our way. September 2011. Rock the Green. We're all going to rock the green. Rock the Green, September 18th, 2011 at Veterans Park. See you there.